Thanks for coming back with us on the WV Mason postgame show as the Yankees salvage the finale of this three game set against the Mets with a 4 2 victory. Time to hear from Aaron Boone in the manager's report brought to you by Geico. Our Chris Sheeran leading off the questioning. Hey, Aaron, uh, just big picture first and foremost. How big was this before you go out to Seattle? Yeah, huge. I mean, <clears throat> obviously, what we're going through right now and some of the gut punches we've had of late, um, you know, for guys to really step up in, in the nightcap tonight um, and at least salvage something today, um, you know, hopefully is something that we can we can build upon and take with us uh, to the West Coast. What did you see out of Chad? 35 pitches, 27 strikes. He was electric, but what did you see from the dugout? That, he was just terif terrific command, um, just really from jump street, throwing the ball how and where he wanted to, mixing the curveball in with, with really locating the fastball how he needed to, really efficient. Um, you know, obviously a little reluctant to send him out there for a third inning, especially after getting an out in the earlier game. Um, but he certainly wanted the ball, and um, and he went out and was dominant and efficient there in that third inning and, and just a huge effort for us. Did you have that discussion with him in between innings? Did, did that happen? I did, yeah. And he wanted to go back out there. Yeah, he was good. He was good to go. He was. He said, "I'm I'm good to go." And um, you know, I kind of deliberated on it a little bit, but but decided I was going to let him go, and and he delivered. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. Tom Merriam, please unmute. Aaron, what kind of a lift did you get from Cortez tonight? Yeah, Nestor was great to start things off. Um, you know, we're kind of saying after after obviously another another tough one this afternoon as Nestor was walking down the hallway um, to go out to the in the clubhouse, walking down the hallway as he got ready to head out to the bullpen. I said to someone, he's he's probably the perfect guy to go out there, and you know, he he pitches with with without fear. Um, he 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 loves what he does. He there's joy the way he plays the game. And that's what he did and went out and set a great tone for us. Um, you know, to be able to go into the fourth, I was really only kind of counting on 50 pitches from him. But he was so efficient that I let him go a little bit further. And um, just a huge, huge outing for us when we really needed it. Brian Hoke, you have the next question. Mm. Brian, not working again, buddy. We'll come back to you. Matthew Robertson, go ahead. Aaron, you got the uh, the All-Star break coming up here. It's kind of a natural point to take stock of things and assess how the season has gone. Uh, what are your goals for this team before the All-Star break gets here? No, we, 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 we go to Seattle. That's what we have. That's, you know, a, a, a young team that's playing well. And, we you know, our, our focus is, you know, we got a, essentially like a red-eye flight tonight out there and, um, you know, we have an off day to gather ourselves a little bit, and uh, we got to go play well in Seattle. I mean, that's that's where our focus lies. Justin Walters, you have the next question. Hi, Aaron. Following up on that, making sure that these feelings don't carry over to next week, is there an extra importance to finish off this first half before the All-Star break? to make sure that you guys are getting some consistency moving forward? Yes, yes. Um, I, I think we understand what's at stake, and um, I understand. We, I think we understand what the hole we've dug for ourselves, and we understand the importance of every game. And, uh, you know, we got to go play well. We understand that. Uh, we've talked about it a lot. Um, so... We're, we're going out west with a lot on the line. Brendan Cuddy, you have the next question. Uh, Aaron, until Araldis figures out whatever he's going through, would you consider Green as your closer going forward? Um, I'll consider a number of things. You know, Green, Low, uh, Chapman, you know, those will be conversations that we have. Um, you know, but we may not have that option Tuesday with, you know, <laughs> if Greeny and Lower, you know, could be down. So we will have those conversations. Um, 
and try and do what's best for 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 the team and and for those individuals. Have you spoken with around this or you know between games just about what you thought was off in that first game? Uh, uh, yeah, we've we've I mean we've been diving in each and every day, you know, between Matt and Hark and, you know, working on delivery things, changing up some routine things, changing up some pregame things. Um, yeah, we've been having a lot of conversations, pitch selection, those kind of things. Yeah, we, <laughs> yes. Chris Sheeran, back to you. Hey, Aaron. Um, just a quick one on, I know you couldn't do it tonight because King pitched uh, in this series earlier. But uh, considering he has a 190 ERA coming out of the bullpen and what you're getting out of Nestor, have you thought about possibly putting those two together in the future, maybe piggybacking? Could be. We, you know, we could have something like that in play, um, you know, first game in Houston potentially, um, you know, where we'll need a spot there. And, and depending on, you know, how guys are used in the Seattle series, we'll, we'll try and come up with a, a, a plan to, you know, get through that. And what about that, the, the inning, the second inning, the, the bunt by Odor? What did you think of that? that? That seemed like it gave you guys a little bit of a spark before Gio came up there. Yeah, it was huge. It's something that Rugi does well going that way. You know, it's something he practices a lot, um, certainly in his, his toolbox, and just really well executed. Um, you know, obviously, you know, worst case scenario there, he gets the runner over to third with less than two outs. But, you know, being aggressive with it and, and – you know, playing for a hit as well, and 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 he executed perfectly, getting it by the pitcher there, uh, able to beat it out, and then and then Geo with a big swing.